colleagues can I ask for one line of closing remarks from everyone, and then we can close off. I do apologize, we're running just five minutes over. You Only know, it's tough for me to do one-liners. one liners. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I would say the one key takeaway for me would be not to see AR as a replacement, but as a complement. And, and, and I think a lot of people come with that notion of it's going to replace, and there's the fear factor. Don't, don't let the fear embrace that this is coming, and it's here, and it's going to evolve human sociology. Um, and there's a whole different topic on that of excitement. But I think that's a key thing. Take this away as... How do, I, how do I become part of the complement and part of the opportunity versus seeing it as some type of replacement? At the end of the form, it still simulates it's not being. And that's the human spirit of tacit knowledge. And there's a lot of richness there. And, and that's not going to be easy simulated. And I think there's huge opportunity with your content creator, whatever it is, there's huge opportunity to come. Like we've seen in history when there was the fear of different industry sectors, there's always been opportunity. And that would be my, my closing view. I think I'll become an influencer, Tony. But is that closing remarks? The legal frameworks and guidelines is more than just ethics and biasness and unfairness and discrimination. There's also requirements that it must be completely transparent, accessible, and understandable. So when we are using uh, AI, it's not just about, is this good for humanity? I need to be able to see what the developer what the input was, what the original data was. If not, I cannot and may not use it. So when the legislation does arrive, or if you are borrowing, know then, it, know then it's more than just about what feels right and wrong in terms of ethics. And there has to be a genuine knowing about what the AI software is about before you start using it. Knowledge is power. Uh, I said this earlier, I'm going to say it again. The future belongs to those of us who move from a static place, mindset-wise, to one where we recognize that we need to continuously adapt, continuously learn, continuously acquire more and understand more. And in so doing, AI becomes a critical enabler as opposed to a threat. It is an opportunity to do far more than we ever could as opposed to a potential replacement. Brilliant. Tech is an enabler to help us go higher, faster, and have a positive impact on society as well. Greg? Yeah, thank you. I'd just like to close with uh, best possible outcomes and what are the opportunities from the very first question we had today. So what, what, what is preventing African corporations from competing outside of Africa, which they almost never do, and why are they being often beaten locally um, by multi multinational competitors? And that is, constraints in knowledge capital and technical capital and in investment capital. The first two can be addressed through AI. And so for me, the best possible outcome is more, is higher, more competitiveness coming out of this continent um, within the continent and around the world.